guys, Joel Police 10 8 Talk here, uh, Workbench again. Uh, today I wanted to share some impressions, thoughts with you on the ankle holster that I've gone to. It's the Gould and Gouldrich Boot Lock Ankle Holster. And we'll be right back with you. Alright, guys, here we are. Uh, this is the Gould Goldrich boot lock ankle holster. As you can see here, it laces into your laces. Uh, if any of you have worn a conventional ankle, ankle holster and had it come clinking out at the least opportune time, you probably get an idea why I went with this particular ankle holster. This one is for the uh, 26, 27 Glock. Uh, spin it around here. As you can see, it has a big Velcro closure here. I mean, even with that undone, the holster is not coming off of your boot because it's laced in. Uh, this one works particularly well for me because I wear side zip boots. So to take the boot off at the end of shift, I just undo this Velcro, undo this Velcro, unzip it, and I'm done. And next time I put it on, I do not have to do any re, uh, I don't have to do any readjustment here. All I have to do is put the boot on, zip it, wrap this strap, get the, get the overlap on it and bingo bongo and you're ready to roll uh, nothing wrong with responsible civilian gun owners wearing this holster I, I highly recommend it uh, one thing if you do do that check your your state or your municipality because I know some states do not allow ankle carry uh, the one issue I have had with it, and I've already safety checked this 27 earlier, is no matter what I do, I cannot get the holster to break in to the point that I'd like it to be. You can see I was just shoving on it relatively hard and it's still not quite seated. There we go. And that is it. And I will tell you that the one downside to it, it's very comfortable. You're carrying the weight on your boot as opposed to just solely on your ankle. The one pitfall I have found with this holster is the security is fantastic. It's it's there's no way the handgun's coming out accidentally but that's also a two-bladed sword because it can be a bear getting this thing out it's a little simpler when it's on your leg but there's your thumb brake and as you can see it's in there that's kind of defeatist to the point of being able to access the weapon. The security is fantastic. I'm going to be piddling around with it a little bit to see if I can uh, get it to loosen up. I've, I've soaked it in water, put the handgun in a Ziploc, put the handgun in, let it dry. I'll probably try that another time or two. But as far as security goes, you're not going to beat the holster. It's not coming off your foot. Uh, they've, they've, they have another model now where this thumb brake is an adjustable Velcro strap. So it'll fit a multitude of different handguns. This one, when I purchased it, it was, it was model specific. Uh, it's Golden Goldrich. It's all top quality leather, top quality Velcro. The actual 
thumb brake strap is a molded polymer. Uh, price point on this is still hovering right around the $80 mark for the model specific one. The one with the Velcro strap where you can adjust it to varying, varying lengths. They're, they're running right around $45. $46 in there. They offer the same level of retention and security of, of your handgun not going anywhere. And, uh, if I make any headway with uh, loosening this holster up, I'll post a comment, let you know what I did to finally get it to release the handgun in a little bit more expeditious manner. And just real quick guys, just wanted to throw one out there. Uh, Belleville Tactical Research Boots. These are what they call the Kyber. Like, this is my third pair of them. I've been wearing this pair for a year, and as you can see, good, still got plenty of tread left. It's got the heel panel on the back for, for helping to pull it off. Uh, I've had no issue with the zippers popping my uh, sergeant at work convinced him to get a pair and like on the second day the, the zipper popped open about that far and no matter how hard we tried we couldn't get the zipper back in the track so that threw him off of this brand boot but guys I gotta tell you it's very light it's very comfortable it's got a bona fide uh, orthotic insole in it it's very comfortable it's like putting on your uh, favorite pair of tennis shoes well guys that's about it for this uh, for this video thanks for watching give us a like subscribe our subscription numbers are finally going up a little bit but we could certainly use your help we're trying to do uh, more and more with the channel and uh, subscribers are they're just another motivation to me uh, like I said, this, uh, if you have questions, concerns, comments, let me know. If, if I can do anything to help, I certainly will. And this is Joel with Police 10-8 Talk. Going 10-7. You guys be safe.